Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, bringing you guys a Grand Theft Auto 5 tutorial video showing you guys how to get the fighter jet or the P996 laser in Grand Theft Auto. And as you can see in the background, this is a very desirable vehicle. I mean, everybody wants a fighter jet, let's just face it. But the only issue that seems to be looming around this kind of topic is getting it itself. You have to steal it from Fort Zancudo, and that's a bit intimidating. The four star Ronald waiting tanks assault rifles, 50 caliber machine guns, they really don't want you stealing their fighter jet and this is why the video of this is how to get the fighter jet for dummies because I am a dummy when it comes to trying to get this fighter jet. So this video is going to be for you guys on what worked for me. So if you guys have watched uh, videos from before, uh, a lot of videos show that you can just use a taxi cab and you can just drive the taxi cab in there before you actually pick up a, a taxi rider I guess but after the new update that no longer works unfortunately so as you can see right here I am driving my taxi in and instantly I get a two-star wonder bank so that proves that um, that that no longer works and that run didn't turn out exactly very well as you can see with my fighter jet crashing into the lake so here I am trying again taking the taxi over to Fort Zancudo once I get there I decide to take the taxi but this is unnecessary, you, preferably you'd like to use the fastest vehicle you have available to get there as fast as possible because the taxi glitch no longer works. As you can see, I'm driving in, but halt! Before you do anything, you must know where you are going. So as you can see from this overhead 3D map, this is kind of like a, a nice little representation of where you're going to be going. Once you go in, take your first right, first left, and then first right again. And then it, we're going to go into this hangar right here. The reason why we go into this hangar is because it provides you the most cover. It covers you in three directions, and there are no people inside the hangar and the jet always spawns here. So as you can see from this gameplay right here, I drive in, I take the first right, then the first left, and then the first right again, and I go in the hangar. And right when I go into the hangar, I get the four star wanted rating. And by then, there are no people to shoot me until they actually pull around the corner. So it takes a while to get into the fighter jet, which is the main reason why it's so difficult to get a fighter jet. So I'm able to take off, but the only issue is, is right here, I get shot at by bullets. You don't want to get shot by bullets because eventually, as you can see in a little bit, your plane will eventually begin to get more and more damaged and eventually start smoking and eventually stall and crash into the lake as what happened here. So what you're going to want to do is get to Trevor's airstrip as fast as you possibly can. Now here I am on the second attempt. This one went a little bit better but I still ended up crashing it and somehow managed to take off pushing that truck out of the way. So here is the overhead view of the map on how to get out of the hangar, out of Fort Zancudo, and to Trevor's airstrip to land and put it inside your hangar. Uh, this way is the easiest way to where you aren't going to encounter as many cops. Just go ahead and once you get out of Fort Zancudo, take a left and follow the river. Make sure you fly as low as possible to the ground because uh, you can hide from the helicopters and Fort Zancudo has sand turrets and if you fly low to the ground they won't be able to fire out at you. So if you want to get rid of the cops which is unnecessary you can fly up to the Alamo Sea or the big lake above Blaine County and just south of Mount Chiliad. You can see it in the top right of this screenshot. Just fly in a circle around in that. The helicopters won't be able to get to you, the cars won't be able to get to you, and eventually you will evade the cops. But that is unnecessary because all you have to do is just land it at Trevor's airstrip and then you will be okay. So as you can see here, I'm attempting to land it at Trevor's airstrip, and as you can see from here, I got bullets shot into my fighter jet. And as you can see, it's already starting to smoke. So I was freaking out, I'm trying to land at Trevor's airstrip as fast as possible. Once I get there, it's smoking really bad, and it eventually stalls and crashes a hundred feet before Trevor's airstrip. And that made me a little bit mad. but. 
The third and final try worked for me. I happened to make it out of Fort Zancudo without getting shot. Here is the attempt as you can see right here. This one went a little bit better. The trick to getting the fighter jet is to just try over and over and over. Don't be afraid to lose some money. I know $5,000 per medical bill sounds like a lot, but really, when you have more than $200,000, that's not a problem. Especially for a fighter jet in return. So, for some reason, even though you can see him clearly shooting at my fighter jet, no damage to it actually got into the engine, and I was able to fully evade the cops and very harshly land at my airstrip. When you press left trigger, you will be very surprised how fast the plane will dip down and just practically drop straight to the ground. So be very careful when you're trying to land this. I almost blew my airplane up. Right now it's smoking, so I was able to land it just fine, and I have my celebratory excitement by jumping on top of my helicopter. So that's all I have for now. Hope these tips helped you guys. So yeah, that's all for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish, because Me Like Big Boom is out. Yeah, 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 yeah.